Hi everyone, it's me, Owen. Come and join me to the creepy adventure to the Diplomat Hotel. Dominican Hill Retreat House, or popularly known as the Diplomat Hotel, is situated atop Dominican Hill in Baguio City. The entire hill is considered as Dominican Heritage Hill and Nature Park. Do you want to know the reasons why Diplomat Hotel is considered to be the creepiest places of the Philippines? So let us see for ourselves. Entering the grounds of Diplomat Hotel, you can see the Ten Commandments Monument in front. At the side is a church of Jewish people with menorah and altar inside. By the way, you can access the grounds of Diplomat Hotel by means of public chipney, a taxi, or your own private car. The entire Dominican Hill is considered as Dominican Heritage Hill and Nature Park. Several trees and endemic uh, pine trees and sunflowers grow in this area. Just like the tradition in Paris, France, lovers come here, make a promise, and close their pot. This means exclusivity, loyalty, and the fulfillment of promise. Let's talk about the history. In 1911, American friars and Spanish members conceptualized the construction of a non-vacation house in Baguio. Later, it became Colegio de Santísimo Rosario in 1915, but it was closed due to the low enrollment. For a long time, it served as a religious site and a retreat house being controlled by Dominican sisters. During the World War II, the Japanese soldiers sought refuge, invaded it, and made it as a headquarter. Numerous acts of barbarism were committed by the Japanese, like torture, mass graves, and many other horrible things happened. In the year 1945, American forces bombed the area. However, the Japanese people never surrendered because they committed mass suicide. We can always tell the traces of beauty and antiquity in this area. A trace that some sometime in the past this is very luxurious hotel. Diplomat Hotel Incorporated got its ownership in 1973 and made it as a luxurious hotel. And in the year 1990, the strong Luzon earthquake had caused tremendous damage to the lives and the property. There were many psychics and spiritual faith healers who visited here. They often hear screaming, massive torture, wailing children and ladies, and at the same time, the spirits of the people who haven't attained their eternal peace. May I ask the future visitors of this place to please offer a prayer for the dead people and at the same time show respect and profound appreciation to this heritage site.